Hello friends, in today's video we are transforming a bench and this is a bench I purchased about a year ago from an antique store. I am so excited to finally share this transformation for you and I hope that this video inspires you to create some motivation to finish projects. And I say create because we can't always find the motivation to do things, but we can create it and that is absolutely what I had to do to begin and finish this project that turned into quite the labor of love. So I hope you enjoy this transformation as well as a little porch decorate for fall. So let's get started. We have the citrus strip all over the bench. Now we're going to test a little area to see if it's working because I've never used this before and let's hope it works. David can't wait so we're going to <laughs> test a small area. Oh, oh yeah. And this is the moment when I realized this project is not going to be so easy breezy. I decided to give it some more of the citrus strip and give it some more time for the paint to come off because this part of the bench was a different wood than that back piece. So I just continued moving on and scraping off as much of the back piece that I could. And as you'll be able to tell, there were still some areas that just needed either more citrus strip or more time or a combination of both. The sun has come out. Baby woke up. I figured that was gonna happen, but this is the progress so far. I think I'm gonna have to add some more of the citrus strip in areas and get back to work. So you can see this is two different colors because obviously, well, not so obviously, but I'm pretty sure that's a headboard that they attach to this wood to make the bench. Um, and so there's areas that do need a little bit more of that citrus strip so that way I don't have to scrape too hard. Um, and then the pieces that I didn't get to finish before baby woke up. So we will return to the project after a quick break. Mm-hmm. Why are you doing that? <laughs> Getting the paint off. But why am I doing this? Good question. I think this would come off better with a smaller brush because this is going to take forever if I use this guy. Um, oh crap, I don't want to get into the wood there. That's kind of what it's doing. So let me stop and go to a different spot. going to work on today is putting another coat of our infamous citrus strip but today what I'm gonna do is put the saran wrap over it so that way if we can't get to scraping off all the bits and pieces it'll preserve it without it drying that was my mistake the other day so let's get this done so I think I've decided I'm just going to saran wrap the armrests and whatever is remaining on this back part of the bench because I don't know why I thought saran wrap would maybe be an easier fix because we all know plastic wrap not easy to work with and if it is easy for you to work with this please give us all the tips and tricks because I definitely need it. Hey 
friends. So the goal of this video was to give you some motivation to finish projects and boy has this project really involved me digging deep to find the motivation to finish this project because it is a lot more intricate than I was planning but that's okay. I've learned a lot and I am ready to just finish this bench and make it look beautiful. That is the goal now. So I put the citrus strip on with the saran wrap about 30 minutes ago. So let's check and see if it's ready for me to remove some more of that paint. Okay, let's see what this saran wrap business is all about. All right, we're bringing up some more paint. It's not going to be perfect. And that's a part of this project I've had to understand. It's not going to be perfect. And I am going to have to sand this whole bench anyway. So no big deal. Reveal this area now this area was already easier to take off this headboard was a lot more a lot more fun to work with in terms of taking this paint off with the citrus strip see there that's what we like nice and easy <laughs> that other wood is just absolutely stingy wants to hold on to that paint pretty badly but as I've been saying a thousand times, we're going to end up sanding this whole thing anyway, but that's already looking better. That completes the sanding and the staining, which thankfully was quicker than removing the paint. This is a second coat. So David did the first coat of the staining and I decided to go in with the brush to give it a more refined stain and get in those nooks and crannies of the detail of the wood. The sun was starting to set on the project and here it is in all its glory. A couple of days later, back in its home on the porch. With the bench project complete, I felt it was great time to get the porch decorated for fall. I love to decorate with things that I can use for a longer period of time. So most of these pieces I do intend to have for a while. I have been eyeing this checkered print, which is fairly trendy right now, but to me the classic black and white square will never go out of style. I love the way that that looks and honestly could use most seasons. And both of these were found from Hobby Lobby and you can always count on Charlie Brown and Snoopy to give that whimsical touch. So we've still got the pumpkins to place. I'm gonna take the stickers off those and then put them on the steps. I'm thinking I'm gonna use the flowers to fill out around it and then add the lights. So let's put that together and see if we like it. And because this side has the railing, I don't love to clutter that side up because if practically speaking, someone's using the railing to walk up that way, I'm thinking 
it would look nice right here too. And then you don't have to worry about it being in the way of someone walking. So let's try that. Let's go with our larger ones. And I might do orange and then gradually change it to white. Let's see. I might be needing the little ones fill it out a little bit more. Do we want these together? Let's continue. Okay, so the goal here is to have a big group and then the lights coming through. And these four were about $20. And I really wasn't interested in spending 20 upon 20 of dollars to fill out as I, you know, in my imagination would have liked to do. So we're gonna make this look as full as we can by adding the flowers in. And then we have three in the little miniature pumpkin pack. So let's give that a whirl and see what we think. Here's what we have so far. No lights included, but I'm enjoying it already. All right, I'm losing daylight here. Let's put together our big lights for the lanterns that I thrifted many moons ago now. Well, maybe only like another summer ago or something. But these I found at Old Time Pottery today. And I was looking for something. These are totally plastic. My other ones that were like wax melted. That was not good. <laughs> oh, well that came off a lot easier. Didn't even need those scissors. And they were $9.99, but they were pretty much everything in the store was 10% off. So did save a little money on them. And they do require these big C batteries. Just bothers me when stickers are on things. I like for them to be off. Even when they're a pain to take off, I still try to take it mostly off. <laughs> weird, weird things, you know? Particular things. See how that looks. Ooh, lovely. Let's do the next one. So now that I'm, I turn the porch light on, so we have some light. Now that I've moved these here rather than being right by the door, I think I'm going to put my two big lanterns on either side of the door. So let's give that a whirl and see if we like it. Otherwise, because I don't really love having something right here because if you walk out right there, it's not good to really run into something. I had that little table there. But what I think I might do, if I don't like the lanterns on other side, either side of the door, we'll just put both of them right here. So let's try that now. So there we have that. Or, so here we have straight on, which I do kind of like, even though that's a little squished over there, I do like that. Or we can have our two to the side over here. So let me show that again. Or we have our two to the side over here, kind of highlighting our flowers. Although I'm gonna have some string lights there. So here's the way that looks too. You guys let me know what you think looks best. Continuing on, I have these little lights to add into our pumpkins. And my husband really wanted purple. I wanted orange. <laughs> I'm gonna try the orange and see if I like it. Purple would add a different element, which is fun. We've got a lot of orange going on, but I kind of like that. So let's see what we like. And then lastly, I move this little drying towel and scissors. Lastly, I got these little pillows for this bench and they are little and they do blend into the bench a bit but I have some big beige pillows in the back that I may grab one of but I don't know I kind of liked that darker look we'll see what I think in a little bit and that's gonna be it all right let's give our orange lights a twirl so 
extra, some paperwork that just blew out. And I like this spot because I'm thinking I'll run the cord right underneath the mat here. Ooh, that's a pretty orange. Super bright and fun. All right, real life moments. I totally needed to get two of these. I guess I didn't realize how long this spot was. And for me to get the trailing effect or the lights in between the pumpkins effect, we're a little too short. But I do like the way it looks. The idea is there. We just don't have enough light. And as you can see, I'm already running it as tight as it could go and that's not gonna work anyway. <laughs> so I gotta rethink. I'm gonna try the purple on the porch and then put the orange further down because I can connect them. Kicking myself for not getting two of the orange just because. But let's try this out. Ooh, David's gonna love that purple. It is cool. Looks kind of bluish on camera. Okay, this might work. But do I prefer it to be both colors or the same color? I think I do. But unless I ask him to go to the store for me right now, <laughs> which I don't really want to do, this is going to have to work. Oh, there we go. Okay. David found a solution, a black extension cord. The purple just was not the vibe. It was a very pretty color. I liked it. It was very vibrant, but again, just not what I was looking for. So this black extension cord is it. enjoyed today's project of transforming the bench and decorating the porch with a little bit of fall decor. I wanted to make sure that you guys knew that bird fee actually increased the amount of a discount. So it is now a 15% discount for everybody that uses the code. I will put all the information below, but if you have not watched that video, it's a collaboration I did with bird fee, which is a smart bird feeder with a camera. It is so awesome. I have a lot of really fun, footage to show. I'm going to make a new video about that, I believe, this month. So I wanted to be sure that everybody checked out that video. I would love your support if you have not seen it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you next time. Bye!